Guess what? I'm going to be a host. No, not of a party. A TV show, AM Indiana, track 13, live from Union Station. Yeah, it's a TV show. And we're going to have guests. No, no, not that kind of guests. We don't need any bridge chairs. This is a television show on Channel 13. Mom. Dick Wolsey hosts AM Indiana, track 13, live from Union Station every weekday morning, premiering April 28th on Channel 13. Okay, Ma, I'll send you an invitation. No, don't bring a casserole. Do those who burn the midnight oil at work burn out emotionally? We'll have a report at noon. Nick, I'd rather die than do this. But I have to tell you everything. Billy, come on, you're scaring me to death. I know, honey. And I'm scared, too. I'm so scared. <laughs> come on, now. If you think there's anything in this entire world I wouldn't forgive you for, you're crazy. I mean, especially today of all days, when I'm the happiest I've ever been, even with the thought of marrying you. Just you. let Come me on. tell you. Just let me tell you everything, please. All right. To begin with, I did something terrible with your book. books. Nikki, I'm the one that bought them all. They weren't selling, so I bought every copy and I stored them in the warehouse. Oh, Kelly. I know I was wrong, honey. And I knew that if you had any idea what I was doing, you'd think that I didn't trust you to get through it yourself. <clears throat> sure, uh, that thought may well have occurred to me, yes. But I do trust you. Nikki, I have more faith in your strength than you know. But you had worked so hard at it, and the break-in and the apartment and all, I, I just, I couldn't stand it. How could I hold that against you? You loved me enough to do something that crazy. No, it's not all, there's more. Hi. Hi. I came early just in case Nick has any last minute instructions for the best man. Oh, well, he's off somewhere with Kelly. Oh, it's kind of <laughs> cloudy out there. You think the weather's going to hold? Oh, I hope so. But if it doesn't, since we're having such a small wedding, it won't be a big production to move inside. Just friends and family, except for Eden. She was just called back to Stanford. Oh, Kirk's doctor called her back there. Oh, well, I, I've heard sometimes it takes a while to find the right heart. Yes, I'm praying that he stays alive until there is a donor. Hey, everybody. If you see our groom, we can tell him the best man is here. Bruce, thank you for coming. Hope it wasn't a waste of your time. What? Well, between the weather and whatever's happening with Kelly, we might not even have a wedding today. Come on, give me a pulse. Give me a pulse, please. <laughs> Hurry! Call a doctor. The phone in here doesn't work. She needs help right away. Right away. Don't you understand me? Estás escuchando me. yourself over nothing. These are called acts of love. You love me. I do love you. But Nick... You were just trying to spare my feelings, that's all. It's not like you told the lie to protect yourself. It's different. You're too good. 
And I guess I can't expect you to overlook anything else. Especially since we've gone over it so much. Over what? What are you talking about? The books? No. I did sleep with Dylan. Oh, God, forgive me. I don't understand why I did it, but I did. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I had all those chances to tell you the truth. I can't defend myself. It happened at Santa Rosa that time. And I wish I could say that it was his fault, sir, that he forced me, but he didn't, Nick. I'm just as much to blame for it. But I didn't think I could do something like that. Maybe I don't know myself. Stop enough. it, Kelly, please. Just stop it. Why? I don't know why I did it. No, I mean, why are you telling me this now? We're supposed to get married in an hour. One hour! Because I couldn't let you read me those vows, Nikki. I couldn't let you stand there in front of my family and talk about trust and honesty. And I didn't realize until now how wrong that would be. So what Dylan was telling me was the truth all along. It wasn't until later that he had to lie to, to protect your lies. Is that it? I wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell you right then. But I thought maybe I was easing my conscience by waiting. But I knew that I loved you, and I knew I didn't want to hurt you. So why are you changing your mind now? Why have you decided to hurt me now, Kelly? I told you why. Because of the promises we were going to make today. No. That's not it. What? You wouldn't have blown this whole thing wide open. An hour before our wedding, unless you knew inside that you didn't want to marry me. That's not true! I want to be your wife. But I want to deserve it, Nikki. God, what am I supposed to say? I just... What you feel. What if I told you right now that I want to forget the last five minutes just happened? What would you think? I don't think it's possible for you to forget it. You wouldn't trust it. And if I told you I forgave you, you wouldn't trust that either. You knew when you told me about Dylan, there's no way that we were going to get married. Didn't you? All I knew was that I had to tell you. Or I couldn't face you again. You knew you were closing a door. Probably forever. That's not... I didn't have any of this planned. I had no idea how you would respond. No, but you knew what wouldn't happen. You knew that when you told me this, we weren't going to turn around and walk down this aisle and pledge our eternal love in front of God and the people that we love. No, probably it wasn't, it wasn't a conscious thought. But when it came right down to it, Kelly, you knew you had to find a way not to marry me. I love you. And I can't expect you to believe that right now. You know something, Kelly? I think I could forgive you about what happened with Dylan. I think I did that a long time ago. But what I can't deal with is that you brought us up to this moment before pushing me away. I was just trying to be honest with you. Psychologist? Yeah. Santana and I are waiting for the go-ahead from the doctor before we tell him that we're married. You don't want to hit him with too much. I hope you do it pretty soon because I think it'll be good for him. I hope so. Doctor knows that it shouldn't be too much longer. Cruise.